First a piece of 6061 aluminum round stock is turned to the right length and the end is chamfered. Next the aluminum piece is milled on opposite sides. This will be the housing when it's finished. A pilot drill marks the locations of the air jet hole and the inlet hole. A pilot hole is used to keep the next drill on location. After that, the air jet and inlet holes are drilled. The air jet hole is then reamed to its exact size. The housing is flipped over and a hole is drilled out to accommodate the nozzle. The spot drill is used again to start a hole for the cross flow port. The cross flow port is then drilled and reamed. Next, a plug is turned on the lathe. A small step is cut on the end to help align the plug during installation. A parting tool is used to cut the plug from the rest of the aluminum rod. Plug is then pressed very lightly into the housing to get it lined up. After that, the plug is pressed tightly into the housing to form a permanent installation. The inlet hole is then milled to its finished diameter and depth. Radius is cut on the bottom of the hole to match the inlet hole to the cross flow port. After the hole is finished, a chamfer mill is used to cut a 45 degree angle on the sides of the housing. Pilot locations are then drilled for stainless steel set screw holes. These set screws will be used to lock the inlet tube, air jet, and nozzle in place. The holes are then drilled, tapped, and chamfered. The housing is clamped in a four jaw chuck and trimmed in the lathe.
Final operation on the housing is to cut an angle on the front end. This makes it easier for the sandblasting operator to hold. To make the air jet, a piece of stainless steel hex stock is first center drilled. It is then drilled and tapped for a tapered pipe thread. It is also chamfered on the inner and outer diameters. The opposite end of the hex stock is turned to the correct length and then drilled to a specific diameter depending on the application. Next, the air jet is turned to a diameter to allow it to be easily installed in the housing. A small amount of material is cut off the hex's high spots to give it a more finished look. The last part to be made is the inlet tube. All parts are then vapor blasted to give them a satin finish. <laughs> 